Agensi Satu Bandar Kuala Lumpur dikata pihak SPRM hampir tiap-tiap hari ada datang ke DPK untuk menyiasat. Semalam ada juga hal ini pun ada juga untuk mendapat dokumen mengenai 64 lot tanah yang dijual pada zaman Tengku Anas sebagai Menteri Wilayah Persekutuan dan juga rekod saya yang saya dapat daripada PTG Pejabat Tanah Wilayah Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur hmm. uh, daripada en, uh, 64 buah hmm. tanah ini hmm. ada lebih kurang 10 lot tanah masih belum tukar nama maksudnya uh, tuan tanah masih didaftarkan di bawah DBKL jadi tadi saya ada bangkit isu ini Datuk Bandar Kuala Lumpur dia kata sekiranya uh, konsen Pejabat Tanah Wilayah Persekutuan tidak dikeluarkan uh, kalau mendapat arahan daripada KSN atau Kabinet konsen tidak akan dikeluarkan jadi pihak DBK akan terminate tamatkan surat jual uh, beli dengan pembeli dan dapat balik uh, 10 lot tanah itu record saya daripada PDG yang paling reason there are still 10 pieces of land uh, haven't transferred out yet you're saying that DBKL came yet, uh, sorry, MACC came yesterday to DBKL and today, right? Um, like oh, daily, you're saying, every day yeah. every day for the past oh, days oh, right? for the past, oh. you know, two days or many days okay, um, did the DBKL say if the DBKL people will be held accountable besides the minister? Or like, like what, what kind of investigation? The mayor keeps saying that he and his officer will fully cooperate with MCC. Yeah. Okay, for the 10, you mentioned 10 out of the 64 lands, the title is still legal. So never confirm that all those projects are no more than for that 10 out of 64. They haven't transferred the title yet. Uh, they have to got the consent from land office. And the only uh, person who can order the consent not to be given is either the acting minister or the KSM, the government secretary. These are land being sold, not projects that are... Land being sold by DBKL. Uh, so after, after you sell the land, you transfer the name. So in the midst of transfer, you have to get consent from land office. So now it's jammed there. So, sorry, Ravi, so means do you want the land to be transferred or not? No, I wanted the land back. Ah, we want to land back. So therefore, it needs to be stopped, right? Yep. Because it's not transferred. Yes. Right? So what about the ongoing project? On, on if there is any ongoing project on that land, on that 64 land, this is like those. If there is any ongoing project, for example, like construction. Already commenced, we'll take that. They've already commenced. Yeah, yeah. What about that? Actually, we asked for investigation into the, le to, into the land deals involving the 60 plot of land. And then the which also include, which I raised to that one, the, 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 the sale of the, the precious piece of land uh, for the construction of the new Amno National Headquarter Building that is uh, adjacent to the current uh, PWC building. PWTC. PWTC, right? Yeah, PWTC. And then... Uh, for, for your further information, there is a piece of land which is as big as 31 plus acres in Patu Dua Setengah Jalan Ceras, uh, which has been sold to uh, Crony Company of BN. Uh, the Dato Panda and uh, other officials also expressed the, uh, uh, their, their wish to see the land to be returned to DBKL, if possible. Uh, the land uh, which in which uh, the land where currently three DBKL department building and complexes are sited Jabatan Kesihatan, Jabatan Kerjuruteran Mechanical dan Electrical and also uh, uh, store Sitaan uh, Jabatan Penguat Kuasaan DBKL